Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently in a bit of an awkward state. And the reason that we're in a bit of an awkward state is we can't do anything about Bohemia. Literally nothing. That is exciting. I mean, this guy's unmarried. There is that. But there's not really a lot that we can do there. He is a foreign ruler. I mean, what are we going to do? Maybe one of our vassals has a CB, but no. We could go after some claimants. That is a possibility. He's probably harmless. Of course you may stay. Okay, so we need a new chancellor here. We're going to put in this guy. King of Germany. That'll be absolutely perfect. And we are above our domain limit, but hopefully that'll go away. Now, France, their heir is matrilineally betrothed to our player heir and daughter. So that is excellent. In Italy, the Queen of Italy is our wife, and that is our player heir. So our player heir will inherit Italy, and then her child will inherit France. That is the plan here. And what I really want to do here is I do want to find a solid claimant here. We need someone who is unlanded. She has a pressed claim, but she won't be invited to our court. Yeah, that won't be a thing. Not able to invite any of these guys to court. Hmm. Are we able to invite anyone here? Ideally, it needs to be a male character. Actually, it absolutely has to be. We can't press an unpressed claim from a female character. Wait a second. This guy's in our dungeon? This guy is in our dungeon. Hmm. Can we do anything with that? We're currently ill. We're going to send for a physician. So this guy's not happy with us, but uh, <laughs> he'll get over it. So can we press his claim on Bohemia? We can. He has a claim on Bohemia and Great Moravia. So he would become our vassal. This is not legal for us, but what we can do is we can press this and release him. That puts someone of our religion on this throne. Now, they'll still be on seniority. That's the thing. It's not a mechanic that is modeled within the game. One thing we could do, though, is we could say, we agree to press your claim and make you be the king of Bohemia if you change its succession laws. That's a possibility. Wait. Hang on. I have a better idea. Maybe. Hypothetically, what happens if we press this guy's claim, he becomes our vassal, we revoke the title from him, change its succession law, and give it back, and make him independent? That should follow the rules that we have set out here. In theory. In theory. That should be a possibility. And I think that that's definitely something that we do here. That's not really stretching the rules at all, I don't think. As long as we don't tick forward before granting him independence, right? That's the primary thing here. Obviously, we press this guy's claim, no matter what. Worst case scenario, this gets us someone of the correct religion on this throne. That's a big deal in and of itself. So, we raise our men-at-arms here. We raise some levy troops as well. Okay. Uh, I should have recruited someone as our court physician there. We're going to search for a physician again. Okay. Actually, they have, like, they have quite a lot of mercs and holy orders here. So, we should continue to raise. They have like 62,000 troops here. So we're going to head in soon. We're going to raise a few more. Yes, we will get Grima in here. 
This should be sufficient, I believe. Yes. This should do the trick. We're going to stop gathering. And we're going to head in over this way. We want to fight these guys if we can. And yeah, we'll fight them here. This looks good. These guys turn around. We caught half of their army there. So getting them half and half was a very... That means we win this battle. Granted, we don't win it super decisively. We're not going to stack wipe them or anything. But we then cap here. Now we're going to capture their capital. They're still retreating. And we'll see what they decide to do here. We siege very quickly. If they decide to counter siege, this is fine. We don't have a problem with that. If they decide to come fight us, we can beat them. They don't really have a good option. Counter sieging is probably their best option. No, don't don't walk away. There you go. Counter sieging is probably their best option here, but we'll proceed up over this way and just siege ourselves. Cool. They're raising up a few more mercs. But this seems fine. We're at 62% war score right now. They haven't actually started sieging anything. So that all looks good. 78%. Two months on this siege. Okay, we do have a dangerous faction, and this is an independence faction. We can probably just make this go away, is my guess. Uh, what do we got here? Not a lot. Okay, what about siblings? No. Okay. That's a little exciting. What about this guy? Oh, yeah. We can work with this guy, I think. There we go. Perfect. Should not be a problem. Alliance formed and all... Okay. We're at 78% war score. They're thinking about coming and attacking us. We're going to finish this siege. We're going to attack them out over this way. We're going to wait for these guys to walk in. Never mind. We don't actually catch them here. And these guys are still going. Very rude. Uh, what about this guy? Can we work with him? Actually, maybe. We have daughters. We do not have sons currently available. We could maybe get some available, though. What do we have for siblings here? That is a half-sister, a sister, half-brother. We invite him to court. We're allowing them to move in over here. And right now, we can come in over this way. And we catch only part of their force like that. Cool. So then we come over to this guy here, I believe it was. Or was it this guy? Hang on. His mother is still married. Okay. Or remarried, probably. So we're going to do something like... Who was it that we were looking at previously? I would like to get this guy truced to us. Ah. It's this going on again. So, these guys are betrothed. We invite this guy to our court. That's probably the problem there. Now that he is at our court, we should, in theory, be able to negotiate an alliance here. But we can't. We're going to have to break this betrothal. Which is really unfortunate. And then we recreate that same exact betrothal, and that gives us an alliance. I really wish the Paradox would fix that. Okay, so we win this battle here. We're going to finish up this siege. That's already over. We're going to come over this way, I think, and chase these guys down a bit. Yeah, this is fine. We fight them here. These guys are late to the party. And this war is currently over. So we are going to enforce those demands. This guy becomes our vassal. We disband our troops. We do not unpause here. This guy is not allowed to be our vassal under the rules that we have set up. Can we revoke his title, though? He would decline. And all of these people would join the rebellion. Okay. Hmm. 
No preference Confederate partition. He did change it. Okay. He changed the succession law. It's no longer seniority. So we are now required to grant him independence. Like so. But now that it's on male preference Confederate partition, we can work with Bohemia. Great Moravia, we can't really do anything with. One thing we could have done before I granted him independence, we could have made the Empire title and then conquered it de jure. I feel like that's a little cheesy, if I'm honest, doing it that way. So I'm kind of glad I didn't do that, but that would have been a possibility. So there's this King of Hungary here. And what do we want to do about him? Do we want to fight this rebellion? Honestly, maybe? They're not that strong. They're not that strong at all. Just checking. Yep, that's still Confederate partition. Beautiful. So this guy did what we wanted him to do without actually asking him to. These guys dropped in their power. Okay, so it looks like they're not going to be rebelling. What do we have against this guy? We don't have a CB at all on him. Okay. And then this guy, of course, we have a truce with him because we uh, granted him independence. So we can't do anything with him for 10 years. We're going to try to inherit that anyway, would be the idea. But for now, uh, this looks not so fine. He's a vassal. He's a vassal. This one's okay. And this one's okay. Let's check in on Italy. Yes, this looks good. Let's check in on France. Yes, this looks good. Cool. So that's amazing. I'm, I'm very happy about that. I had no idea that that guy was in our prison. <laughs> well, now we know. Hello. He just released a bunch into Great Moravia. Why? Why would you do this, buddy? I don't understand. Well, we'll see what happens with this. You know, we should probably try to get an alliance with this guy. Uh, we kind of can't right now. Yeah, we kind of can't right now. We have a hook on him. But there's not a lot that we can do at this exact moment. Hopefully he just doesn't give away all of the territory. That would be nice, but it seems like he wants to. <laughs> okay, uh, this is acceptable. This one is not acceptable. And this one is acceptable. Cool. Lots of people requesting their release at this point, And a lot of them are just not going to be things. Okay. So, what's going on up here? Def defending against Aragon in an independence war. And there's a Norman Catholic uprising as well. Why isn't this guy inviting us in? Come on, buddy. We're allied. L right? Yeah, allied to us. He must think he can win those if he's not calling us in. We're going to join both of those wars, though. And we're going to go help out our buddy here. What is this going on up here, though? That's just an internal liberty war up here. Okay. So, I mean, I think that he can win this, too, if I'm honest. This over here, the main problem is ticking war score. Yeah. We could raise up over here in, like, Sicily. And... That would allow us to embark reasonably easily. We'll raise just men-at-arms, and we'll take them out over this way. They'll arrive there three months after they're done raising, which will be in ten days. But you can see there, Ticking War Score has turned around because he finished this siege. He's going to win both of these, but we'll just help him out. Why not? That'll be completely fine. Hopefully Bohemia won't give away more territory. She's imprisoned by us. Okay. 
Well, we're going to be arriving over here shortly, and we will help out with this siege. There we go. Of course, this independence war will be done very soon. Not sure why these guys aren't sieging with their bombards, but okay. If that's what they want to do, they're just slow sieging and leaving their bombards here. That's very awkward. I don't know why they'd want to do that, but okay. Defender controls war target, huh? In the Independence War? I'm not sure that's true, but okay. That war is over. And now it's going to be the uh, Populist Uprising up over here. That'll be a little awkward to get to, but we'll head on up there. Yep, that war was won as expected. And we're just going to pop in over this way. We'll arrive there in three months, apparently. I think they're going up over here to take this back. Although they have an army coming up here as well. France has this under control. We don't really need to be here, but we're providing moral support right now. <laughs> That's what's going on here. I mean, we did participate in one of the wars fairly extensively. But yeah, we're just, we're just providing moral support. Cool. So this war's over. Anytime France wants to end it. I guess we'll start walking up here as well. There we go. They end it. Sounds good. They had that under control the whole time, but I just wanted to make sure. So we'll decline that one, and this one is also declined. Great Moravia is a little stronger than Bohemia. This guy is winning in this war, but for how long? We can't join that war because we're not his ally. And we can't become his ally because all of his children are already married. And sadly, too far away to interact with. Where is this guy? Located in Marzabit. Why is he here? Okay. <laughs> That's exciting stuff. It wouldn't have been close enough to get us an alliance anyway. What we can do is we can finance his war. So we're going to send him a bunch of gold here. We're going to get him out of debt. And we're going to give him like a thousand gold right now. We've got plenty of cash. We want to finance his war. And make sure that he wins that. Cool. So now he's out of debt and he doesn't have to worry about that malice. He has enough to hire mercs if he wants as well. Uh, this ransom is acceptable. This ransom is also acceptable. Sounds good. Make some of that money back. He finishes his siege here very soon, and then he should walk down and stop them from sieging. Like, he really, really should. He's at 44%. Okay. These are, oh, these are his troops. These are their troops. Right. <laughs> I had that turned around for some reason in my head. That was very strange. Okay, well, we should definitely grab, I think, none of these really matter, do they? The only reason that we're in domain focus right now is to try to bring up our domain limit. If we were to switch off it, we would go down to 10 of 9, which is probably acceptable right now. I wouldn't mind swapping over to Diplomacy just to grab Defensive Negotiations. Yeah, 10 of 9, as expected. Okay, sounds good. So, this siege is ongoing. I think he can beat this force, though. He's going to siege this eight years left. Oh my. What's he got here? He is slow sieging that. His siege weapons are out here. He needs to move his siege weapons in here. If we could join his war, we would handle it for him. We can't, though. Let's check in on Italy. Italy looks good. Let's check in on France. France looks good as well. Cool. And Bohemia. Of course, there's this whole Great Moravia problem. 
Who is this guy? Ah, that's that claim. Okay. Are you strong enough to press that yourself? You are, and you should. He should press that claim himself. I don't know if he's going to. It'd be nice if he did. But we'll see. Well, he got five additional siege progress there. That's actually quite a bit. It's like 10 days worth. But man, just constant desertion there. <laughs> he just rolls desertion over and over and over. He really needs to move his siege weapons in. But, I mean, if these guys are just going to chill here... Ticking war scores on no one's side. Honestly, if I was him, I'd, I'd probably be... Well, I wouldn't necessarily be fighting these guys. They have comparable numbers, and they're sitting in... Oh, that's farmlands. They're probably okay attacking farmlands. Probably okay. We decline that, and this one is acceptable. Oh, hello. What's going on here? War against tyranny. Hmm. We can't press this claim. Hopefully it'll entice this king into pressing his own claim. He can definitely win that. But we can't press that for him. We decline that one and decline this one. Cool. Okay. Sure, showing the duke. All looks good. France is still under our control, and so is Italy. And this looks good. We've got that solidly under lock. I like it. Awkwardness out over here for sure. But with all this under lock and key, that's great. We should be able to get Bohemia soon enough. We're not going to get it right away. How is this war going? He's still at 44%. He still hasn't moved his siege weapons in here. Seven years remain on this. We might be able to get defensive negotiations by the time he uh, is done with that war. Or with that siege, rather. We probably can. <laughs> it's going very slowly. He really needs to bring in his siege weapons. He's got 80 trebuchets here. That would increase his siege speed tremendously. I have no idea what he's doing here. How are you doing financially, buddy? He's doing okay. Our rival died, so we lose some stress. That's fantastic. Aquitaine is on primogeniture. So that's a potential option for expansion there. But I really want to focus in on Bohe Bohemia and Great Moravia right now. We're not allowed to do a forced vassalization on this guy. And he's still on house seniority. Okay. Bohemia has a de jure claim on all of this stuff over here. Interesting. I don't know why he yielded this stuff to Great Moravia. That was very strange. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but okay, sure. That siege is six years away. <laughs> he is uh, not doing so well, I'll be honest. I'd love to join his war. He also doesn't have any children. He remained the correct religion, which is great. Okay. So at this point, we need our wife here to... Well, we don't need her to die imminently. Like, she can die at any time. She's feeling fine, but she is a drunkard. And this guy, he is our friend. He has an infected wound. He might actually die fairly soon. Of course, this guy is betrothed to our player heir and daughter. So that's wonderful. We just discovered Ermine Cloaks. Uh, was that in High Medieval? No, that wasn't. Okay, so that was this here. We're fascinated by court officials and what is going to be 
Oh, we're also exposing court officials. Okay, so we'll go for, like, Noblesse Oblige. That'll be okay. Gorilla came of age. She became a fortune builder. That's nice. And they are now married. Alliance formed with Prince Amori of France. Cool. So that is now set up. And France is now fundamentally, or at least once they have children, France will be fundamentally part of Scandinavia. Right. This kid has to go. We'll gain 80 stress because we're compassionate, but we need to do it. So this kid has to go. He is, of course, going to be the next heir, but he is not going to be the heir to Italy, and he is not going to be the heir to Scandinavia. So he has to go. Their eldest child, of course, needs to be not with a concubine. Uh, did I just give out a title? I think I just gave out a title. What did I do? I did. I gave this title to this guy. We'll try to, to take it back. For the, for the meantime, we will sway that guy. I mean, it is okay for now, but we're definitely going to want to get it back. We're going to take Thoughtful. Hmm. Let's make this a regular thing. There we go. How's the siege going? Checking in on that. Five years to go. Okay. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to hopefully get some inheritance done. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Spartan News, Rose Valentine, Nick Smarty, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.